Hello, this is Bern, and if you're curious in knowing what are five personal commitments you can embrace that will allow you to attract deep, passionate love, well, stick around, because I will be revealing these five principles on my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great LifeTV.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I'm incredibly excited to be sharing with you five personal commitments that you can embrace and fully step into that will allow you to create deeper, more passionate, more fulfilling, and more lasting love in your life. The first one is, I commit to being whole versus being my half version. So what does that mean? What does committing to being whole, a whole human being mean? It means that you're going to stop looking at a relationship as a solution to your life. And it means that you're going to create whatever solution you need at the highest level right now so that the relationship you attract is one that doesn't complete you but enhance you. You complete yourself and you enhance your greatness and you magnify it and you expand it beyond your reach with another human being. Number two, you need to commit to stepping into honesty versus comfort. So that means that honesty is going to be a higher principle, however uncomfortable or painful it might be, you want to commit to honesty versus comfort. Because if you commit to honesty, that means that when you catch yourself going into a bullshit story around why you can't have what you want, and you tell yourself the truth, even if it's uncomfortable, even if you don't have the answer of what it is you need to do to change, but you own the change. And when you own the change, then you're empowered to take that next step into your life and to create and attract more of what you want. Number three is commitment to embodying self-love. Okay, And embodying self-love goes beyond the intellectual thought about I love myself. Embodying self-love, the commitment, lifelong commitment of embodying self-love means committing to embracing your imperfections, committing to embracing your body exactly as it is right now. I'm not saying you can't change it or improve it. I'm not saying you can't change or improve yourself, but you say, you know what, fuck, right now, I'm a pretty awesome human being and I wanna get better in these ways, but that doesn't subtract from who I am right now. And as I am, I am worthy as I am, I am amazing as I am, and I choose to continue deepening in my greatness in whatever way I choose to. But not because I am less than right now, but because I want to continue evolving as a human being. So you embody self-love as a true commitment, you own your sexiness, you own your curves, you own your every part of you as it is right now. Number four is the commitment to expressing you, expressing your uniqueness, your you-ness. <laughs> and when you express yourself, when you embody self-love and you commit to expressing yourself, that means that you enter a relationship with a full open freedom to continue being yourself. When you enter a relationship with this false self, a sense of self, meaning you, you, you enter a relationship shying away from who you really are, kind of not expressing your fullness, and then you have to keep it up. It's so exhausting, it's so fucking exhausting to connect with someone and kind of want to have them see only the best in you and never allow them to see all parts of you and then you have to keep up that facade. And it's, it's just like, it takes so much energy. And because it's so painful, then subconsciously you do things that mess up the relationship because you don't want to continue exp experiencing that. So if you start the relationship by expressing you at your fullest, that means that if the guy stays, he stays based on reality, not on bullshit. Number five is you commit to failing much more than you commit to not leaving. Does that mean that you want to fail? No, but you absolutely have to fail to achieve anything worth a, worth a fuck. Anything worth a fuck, that's a quotable. Anything worth a fuck, you have to fail that a few times to be able to create it. And if you go through life saying, I don't wanna mess up, I don't want to experience any pain, then you, you will do so fewer things than you would have done had you attempted and you failed but learned something from it. Now, am I saying that you should continue connecting with the same type of dude that's not good for you and fail that way? No, you, you fail in a smart way. You, you, you commit to taking a higher level of action, but also knowing that if it doesn't happen, you learn, 
you pick yourself up, you get on the horse, and you continue. So you commit to you, you commit to the truth that failing is far more courageous than not even attempting something. And uh, if you fail, you pick it up, pick yourself up, and you do it again. So hope this is helpful and insightful. I'm going to review them for you one, one more time. The first one is commitment to being whole versus half. Second is commitment to honesty over comfort. Third is embodying self-love. Number four is expressing you at your highest, you at your brightest, you at your most expressed. And then number five, you commit to failing more than you commit to not living. Okay? Uh, if you find that this is something that gives you some insight and that opens your mind or your heart in any way, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Okay? Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video, you will find a link that takes you to a video I created for you that will share with you how you can create a blueprint to find your soulmate far much faster and with a lot less pain than your current trajectory. All you do when you click on that link that I share with you on this post is uh, takes you to a page, you see a yellow tab, you click on that tab, enter your name and email, and then you start watching the video right away. Thank you for connecting with me. Thank you for allowing me to be part of your life. And as always, I challenge you from my heart to live a full and a conscious life.